I'm Mick Peaker, I'm 36 years old, and I'm from Leeds. I am a primary school teacher, and I've been doing it for seven years. How old is Simon Cowell? I love it. Kids are amazing, and there's lots of laughs along the way. 70, 85, 100. No, not 100. <laughs> When I walked on stage, on the day of my audition, I felt relaxed immediately because the crowd was so receptive. Good evening. Are you enjoying your food? <laughs> being a teacher and being a comedian, quite similar jobs. Good morning, Mr. Nurse. Nice to be here. So I thought, I'll give comedy a go. <laughs> Means you're away a lot, and my partner's really supportive. It can be difficult with, a, a, obviously, a young child. My little girl, Isabel, she's three, so a similar mental age to me. It's who's funnier, mummy or daddy? Mummy. <laughs> she's my little partner in crime. I'd love to be the first comedian to win Britain's Got Talent. Uh, it'd mean that I could secure a future for my family and, and get my dream job as a full-time performer. Last night, I played a gig to 20 people. <laughs> this one's a bit different. It's a massive pleasure to be here. I'd like to sing you a song about getting older. You change as you get older. Not wrong with that, you do. Well, some things don't change. I'll always be lazy. <laughs> I don't actually want this beard. Honestly, I live my life by two rules. If someone else can do it, I don't. <laughs> and if you've got to do something, you do with a bear. Yeah. See what I mean? <laughs> Can't help it. Just thinking, there must be other lazy people in here like me. Just put your hand up if you consider yourself to be lazy. <laughs> Alicia, well, you put half a hand up. That's very clever. Well done. <laughs> I'm assuming the rest of you just couldn't be bothered to put your hands up. <laughs> Fair play to you, I didn't put mine up either. <laughs> I have never played to people that are sat so far away. I'm not talking about you a lot. I mean, those at home watching on telly. <laughs> I love TV. It's brilliant. You don't have to do well. Just sit there. Sometimes, though, you're watching telly. A celebrity comes on. You don't know them. They've never done anything to you. And they're probably really nice people. But as soon as you see them, that little voice in the back of your head just goes, I absolutely hate you. <laughs> For no reason. Every time I see your face, anger rushes through my veins. I always turn around and say, She does my head in her. <laughs> I don't know why I hate you. I'm not sure what you've done. Andy Murray's mum. <laughs> oh. Honestly. One of the producers just told me in the rehearsal, I used to work with Andy Murray's mum on Strictly, and it says she's actually really nice. I'm still in shock. <laughs> but you know what? I am getting older, and I have started changing. I've started asking middle-aged questions. These are the same questions my dad used to ask his mates. When I was younger, I always thought, why are you asking that? It's pointless information. But recently, the very same questions are coming out of my mouth. I know a lot of young people watch this show, so here's a warning to all you youngsters. One day, you will wake up in your 30s and you will just start asking middle-aged questions. I keep on asking all these middle-aged questions to me mates. It's kind of recently just snuck up on me. 
All right, mate. Whereabouts did you park? Yeah, it's really good there. It's three after six. Yeah, I know it is. I was wondering, um, which route did you take to get here then? Yeah, I hate those lights. Listen, it's a bit busy in here, isn't it? Fancy going somewhere a little bit quieter. I'd like to learn a lot more about your mortgage. I used to be cool. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> left me wanting more and I think that is the best compliment I can give you. Everything that came out of your mouth was hilarious and resonated with me, especially the mortgage. Um, I just think you're very clever, you're very witty and the thing I'm loving about Britain's Got Talent this week is the amount of fantastic comedians and comedy that we have had on the show so I really, really would love to see you go through and be in the final yeah. on Sunday. No, I, I, I wouldn't actually necessarily agree with, with that. I think we have seen... Is that because you don't have a mortgage? No, I think that we... I don't know what I'm going to say. I think we've seen two comedians so far in the finals who I think we're going to see having a long-term career. I think the minute you walked out here, Mickey, I said to Amanda, this guy has won over the audience before you've even started. You, Mickey. you know, everything's subjective, but, you know, having done the show for a long time, I can see when a reaction like this, why it's working. What you did tonight, I think, was so smart, so quick, so funny, so different, so original. I love the fact, actually, you've got this normal job with kids. Um, and... yeah, I'm going to be honest with you, Mickey. I didn't think this was going to happen. You absolutely nailed it tonight. Oh, you. you know what a fan I am of you, Mickey. I absolutely love you. You are hilarious. And we've got a surprise for you, Mickey, because Andy Murray's mum, Judy, is in the audience today. <laughs> See you in the final. You've got such an original comedy voice. You deserve to be. Well done. You said you used to be cool. You still are cool. I think the audience could listen to you all night. I think you're brilliant, very relatable. I was belly laughing, ugly laughing, and that's what we want from a comedian. You gave it to us. So thank Thanks, you, Mickey. Thank you. Ugly laughing. Yeah. Can't yeah. argue with that. No, that's what I do, mate. <laughs> yeah. The details on how to vote for Mickey are on screen now, but you can't vote till we've seen all eight acts. One more time, let's hear it for him. Mickey P. Kerr!